What's going on, YouTubers? This is Zen from Zen Multiverse, and I hope you're having a great day. So we are back with another episode of Comic Book Vibes, and today's question comes from Brendan Blockabout. And Brendan Blockabout has an amazing YouTube channel where he does a lot of um, just really creative content when it comes to... Uh, just a lot of things video gaming um facts right when it comes to um knowledge right he has a really great new series um that just came out and it tells you a load of information in a short amount of time so if you're eager to learn definitely go to his channel if you're eager just for some entertainment go to his channel as well so um brendan block about 99 so his question comes in the form of you will never amount to anything we shall see why do costume styles change um and from from basically from the past to the present why do they change right and this is a great question because I think particularly why um, why they change, right? Costumes do change is to fit to fit the ideal or the aesthetics of where we are in society right now. And I could I could very well tell you, and this goes for art too, right? Um, I could look at specific costumes in the early 90s when it comes to comic book characters and they have changed dramatically. I'm going to go with like the X Factor, right? X Factor and even X-Men. The, you could clearly look at like Havoc and be like, if he has on his jacket and his blonde hair is kind of like flowing out, you're going to be like, that's the 90s Havoc, right? If you're looking at Havoc right now, if you see um, him with like the black, right? You're going to say it's this era or it's the current era, right? But with all things, they revolve, right? And some things don't change because people don't like change, right? You'll notice, like, when you look at Superman, Superman, they've tried to change this comic book in a drastic way a couple of times, and they were like, no. The comic book community was like, don't do that again, right? So they made subtle changes, right? Instead of um, Superman having, like, the brief tape type wear, right? He now has, like, pants that kind of connect with, like, a belt, and his his suit is kind of modern, modern right? Where it has, like, lines and insignia that look more... Um, technologically bounded even though it's not right um to fit the times that we're in right now um and just insignias right the s on the chest is now um is now profounded instead of like shown stitched on but it is often referenced that his first uh, his first um costume is the one with the briefs right so i think it's it when it comes to just comic book changes and also art style it just goes with the time right but like i said before things start to kind of shift and go around right you'll notice that certain styles of things come back in right they're now wearing certain suits if you look in x-men comic books right now when it comes to um the reign of x jean gray is not wearing her 90s wear she's wearing her miss marvel um wear which is like her one of her earliest forms of costumes right um she's rocking it just because they want to see they want to test the waters of like old school right and they also change costumes back because they want to bring in older readers to the present times and then s slowly make a shift again, right? They're, they're like, don't forget that this is the Jean Grey that you, that you grew up on, but she also still has um, current writing and mentality for today, right? So just to answer your question, it just they change it because um, they're trying to see what's most profitable for the times that they're in and also what's aesthetically pleasing for the audience that is currently reading it while still trying to bridge the gap of brand new readers, right? Um, I think that's what it is. That's often the hardest thing to do when it comes to comic books um, writers and also just comic book developers. They're trying to stay. It's hard for them to keep the old while making brand new changes. So they they go through a process of, of not really changing the character, but changing what they're wearing, right? To um, to get new readers in. So, with that being said, this is Zen from Zen Multiverse saying peace, love, and prosperity. If you're enjoying the content, drop me a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, drop a question in the comments, right? So that I could do more episodes because, as you know, the questions 
uh, and the episodes are intertwined, right? Your questions and comments basically make these episodes. And for the next one, speaking of that, and this one isn't a question. This one is a comment. And this one comes from um, uh, one of my friends from Instagram, and he is Conrad. Um, Conrad Sweatpants, and his question is, I know it's not a question, but I just finished House and Powers, House of X and Powers of Ten, and I really, and basically he's saying that he really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, um, so, gonna hear my thoughts on that on the next episode. Later, everyone. <laughs>